Hello everyone, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. Uh, this is definitely not uh, lawn care related in any way, but uh, I wanted to show you guys my motorcycle. This is a, a Honda VTX 1300C that I purchased actually over the winter. It was supposed to be my winter project and I ended up, uh, I ended up enjoying it so much that I decided to just keep it and ride it. When Carrie and I first got married in 2001, the first, oh, I don't know, several years that we were married, I always had a motorcycle that I rode and usually had one or two that I was working on that I just, you know, I enjoyed tinkering with them. And, uh, you know, you guys know me, I enjoy having a project. So, so I always had a bike and, uh, at, at one point, I I sold all my motorcycles, and then I didn't have one for about uh, 18 years until I bought this one. And I bought it from someone I knew, and it had been setting, uh, setting for years actually, unused. And so I had to do some work on it, you know, carb clean, had to replace the petcock in the tank, uh, do a lot of cleaning just because it had been setting out for so long. But this is a super nice bike and it's not spotless. I need to I need to clean it up, do a good detail. But I mean, really considering that it's a, a 2006, this thing is in immaculate shape. And it runs and rides so nice. I mean, I really can't recommend this motorcycle enough. It's a bit big for me, you know, a 1300 for a guy that weighs 180 pounds. Um, you know, it's it's a lot bigger bike than I need, but it's not hard to handle. You know, it, it rides so nice and the balance is so nice that it, uh, you know, it doesn't feel as big as it is, I guess, if that makes any sense. Now, I've only done a few little things. I, I replaced the uh, passenger foot peg with, uh, with a foot board and I replaced the front driver's uh, foot pegs. And then I added this fatty, uh, Cobra fatty highway bar to it. Uh, other than that, I really haven't done anything, haven't modified anything. The exhaust, as you can tell, is it's a bit long. Um, that's not the original exhaust. It, it fit the bike, but it's not the factory exhaust. And I actually have a, a, a Cobra exhaust system ordered for it that I'll be putting on pretty soon. I mean, this is super quiet and I do like that, but it's just not, it doesn't fit the bike, you know. It's off of something different, probably a 1600 if I had to guess. But uh, anyway, so that's the motorcycle. And then you guys probably noticed the, uh, the gear bag here. Well, I've been using the motorcycle a lot to save money on gas. I mean, not not just because I enjoy riding it, but you know, I mean, they're, they're a great fuel mileage saver. And so this is what I came up with for my turnout gear. My entire set of gear is in this bag. Um, this pocket on the end, I have my safety vest and my radio and a few odd and end things. Um, this pocket has my helmet. And then the main part of the bag, oh yeah, it's personalized too. And this is a... I'll put a link in the description. This is fully involved stitching. That's where the bag came from. The company that makes the bag. And this is the, uh, oh, I think the XL or XD size. It's, it's the, the bigger size bag. But anyways, I've got my turnout gear in the main part. Um, and this is one of those step-in bags. So you open up the bag and you literally step into your boots pull up your suspenders, grab your coat, put it on, grab your helmet, grab your radio. Everything is all in the bag where you can literally step into the bag and put it on if you wanted to, um, which is kind of nice sometimes because then you have a nice clean place to put your gear on rather than, you know, putting your gear out, gear on out on the ground where it's not always clean. So, I uh, really like that bag, and this is just an easy, convenient way to carry my turnout gear and still be able to ride my bike. It's not too 
cumbersome, it doesn't mess up your balance very much, and it doesn't take up too much room where you can't ride comfortably. And when my wife wants to go for a ride on the motorcycle, I just pop the bag off and throw it in the back of my truck. So if you guys want to see more about the, uh, the gear bag, the fully involved stitching gear bag, you know, I can do another video on that, actually open it up and kind of show you how everything goes in there. And if you want to see more on the bike, um, I can definitely do some more video on the bike. Just let me know what you'd like to see and and we'll get it on the channel. Um, this is something that I wasn't really even sure I would do a video on. It's something that I just bought for myself to enjoy and and uh, have fun with. And then once I, you know, more or less finished my project as far as getting it running and cleaned up and all of that, then I decided to keep it. So I thought, well, why not? Let's let's do a video and. And you know, for the guys that watch my channel that are firefighters, um, this is not a bad option for uh, for carrying your turnout gear. I mean, it looks a little awkward, but you know, if I had um, if I had some hard saddlebags where that could actually kind of sit on the saddlebags, it would ride, you know, a little, I don't know, a little more evenly. Um, but it, it really isn't bad riding it. it. It doesn't mess up your balance. It's not, it's not super heavy, you know, I mean, you guys have turnout bags, you know they're uh, they're not super heavy. So, you know, the weight of your gear with your boots and your helmet and everything all together is, what, you know, 30, 40 pounds. So, I mean, it's not a huge amount of weight back there, and it's balanced out pretty good. So, and it takes up just the right amount of space to fit in your in your passenger seat and, and not necessarily get in the way of your driver's seat. Uh, this bike has the... Uh, the Mustang seat that has the backrest for the driver and then of course the sissy bar for the passenger and it's super comfortable um, came with the bike I didn't purchase that that was already on it but you know having that backrest actually works out really well for having the gear bag sitting back here and being able to set up against the uh, backrest although the bag would be fine too if the backrest wasn't on there so Anyway, that's it for now, guys. I'm going to pop off of here. I've got to get some uh, get some work done, and I'm actually going to go for a ride with a friend of mine today. So. so that's all for now. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one.